Sacramento Zoo Facebook page. We are live here with our wonderful aardvark, Miss Padme. Today's Facebook Live is sponsored by Jiffy Lube of Greater Sacramento. We are so grateful to Jiffy Lube for supporting the Sacramento Zoo. If you two are interested in supporting the zoo, feel free to visit our website, saczoo.org. You can learn more about our emergency relief fund, and you can also learn more about reserving your ticket to come visit us here at the zoo. We are so excited to see you guys again. And again, we are here with Miss Padme. She is our resident aardvark, and she's about... Well, she will be about 11 years old pretty soon. If you guys have any questions about aardvarks, feel free to leave a question in the comment section. We would be happy to get to it. Until then, we're pretty much just going to be watching Padme eat. Eating is one of her favorite activities. Hi, Miss Padme. Look at that fun little nose. Yes, Miss Padme is awake. So aardvarks do tend to be nocturnal. They do um, tend to be out more so at night. But Miss Padme definitely has her routine. She sleeps a lot during the day. She is up at night. And she definitely wakes up for some snacks as well. We've got some fun stuff for her today. In addition to her usual lunchies. Got a box with some avocado. And some jam. But she's, she's pretty good. She really likes to eat her lunch before she gets to the desserts. These guys have a super long, sticky tongue. We might be able to see it in action here today. It can be about 12 inches long. And that's going to help them eat a lot of different bugs, like ants and termites. So when these guys are up at night, they're going to be um, looking for all types of bugs. Again, those termite mounds are going to be tearing into. They'll get a lot of little snacks. All right, Sandra has a question. How old is Padme? Well, Padme is turning 11. Aardvarks under human care can live well into their teens. <laughs> she's so cute. Look at that little nose. Again, right now she's getting some avocado, some honey, some jam, all of her favorite things. Got some other really cool stuff too. We got some bugs and jam in here. Let's see if she's interested in this yet. We've got Jennifer here, one of our wonderful keepers, and she's going to see if Miss Padme is interested in these little snacks. And what would be really cool if she does want some of these bugs is you guys would get the opportunity to see that long tongue. She's like, I'm still eating the avocado. All right, Cade wants to know if aardvarks are related to anteaters. So aardvarks are not related to anteaters, so they have some pretty ooh, similar features, just like that long tongue. Super cool. These guys are uh, more closely related to animals like hyrax, which are actually kind of related to um, elephants, which is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can see that tongue again. So like anteaters, they do eat a lot of bugs. But these guys can actually be found in Africa. Ant eaters um, can be found in South America. Sandra, great question. So, how old do they live? So, under human care, these guys can live well into their teens. Um, and out in the wild, they won't live quite as long. They do face a lot of threats. These guys are not considered endangered, but they are in danger of things like climate change. Um, deforestation and just human encroachment on their territory and then all that kind of messes up the food chain if you will which has an impact on all animals no matter if they're endangered or not. Ooh Robin, great question. What kind of bugs does she eat? So aardvarks really like um, ants and termites. Ms. Padme really likes crickets and king worms. We have some king worms in here right now as well as some jam. She likes those. Oh well, yeah. Let's we'll see if I can do it for me. Okay, great question. So are aardvarks friendly with people? So Miss Padme definitely knows her keepers. She's pretty comfortable with them, but we work really hard for that relationship. Padme is still is still a wild animal. She's got really long claws. She weighs about 100 pounds. So we build a relationship with her. We are able to go in a space with her if she knows us pretty well. But we always respect her space. And she always kind of indicates 
to us when she'd like to be left alone, and we always respect that. But I would never recommend going up to a wild animal or even a pet. You always want to make sure you ask the owner if you can pet the animal. That's my PSA for the day. She's so cute. We could be here all day just watching her eat. It's very soothing. And again, guys, if you have any questions about aardvarks, feel free to let us know in the comment section. Hi, look at that nose. Yeah. Very cute. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys. And again, big thank you to Jiffy Lube of Greater Sacramento for uh, supporting Sacramento Zoo, sponsoring our Facebook Lives. We are so grateful for their support. We so a good question about sleeping. So these guys are considered nocturnal. They do sleep a lot during the day. She does get up for her lunch time, usually around 11, sometimes around 12, she will get up for lunch. So that's usually a good time to see Miss Padme walking around. Very cool nose that she's got. <laughs> Got some little hairs on it. Really sensitive. So she's going to be using her nose to kind of look for all the fun little bugs she's interested in eating. So Jennifer. Hello. Hi. Hello. What is one of your favorite things about Padme and about aardvark? My favorite aardvark fact is what their name means. So Ooh. aardvark in the South African language, Afrikaans, means earth pig. Oh, very nice. And that's great because these guys do spend a lot of time in the earth. These guys will burrow. They are actually considered ecosystem engineers. So they are super, super important to the ecosystem. They're going to make a lot of burrows generally at night because they are nocturnal. They may have their offspring in there. And then when they leave those burrows, they become homes for other animals, which is very, very important. <laughs> Caroline, good question. Why do they eat so much? So they eat a lot to kind of make some energy for all the digging that they do. She's like, more of you. We've got Keeper Tom here. He's giving her some of her lunch today. <laughs> she, she likes the original pan. That's okay. She got both pans. She's the star. Ooh, Jay, great question. What do aardvarks like to do? So they do like sleeping definitely during the day, and they like to dig. So we offer Padme a few different opportunities for digging. We have some mulch pits, and then we also have a behind-the-scenes space with some more pits um, for her to kind of mess around with, especially at night. She likes to do that. Ooh, why are their ears so big? That is a good question. So that's really going to help with their hearing. It also helps cool them off. You can see how thin they are. So when the blood is kind of flowing through the ears, um, it kind of gets cooled off, which is kind of nice. It's kind of like built-in air conditioning. Huh? <laughs> so these guys can be found in Africa, in more desert regions. <laughs> so they are pretty much used to the heat. So the heat in Sacramento does not bother her. <laughs> yeah, so she she eats pretty fast. She does have some teeth. She does open her mouth a bit, a bit more than an anteater, who's kind of similar but not quite related. <laughs> and she, she's chewing. She's chewing a bit, but she does eat pretty fast. So great question about how much they eat each day. So here at the Sacramento Zoo, Padme gets um, some special food here. It's pretty much insectivores, what we call it. So these guys eat a lot of bugs, insectivores, um, and it gives them a lot of added vitamins and nutrients, which is really cool. And then we also give her some extra stuff, um, some avocado she likes, some different fruits and jams. And a little bug. Yeah, a bug there for you. Callie's got a question on whether or not they can swim. So swimming may not be something that these guys would generally encounter. So I don't know if she'd be a good swimmer. All right, guys, for those of us just joining us, we're here live with our aardvark, Padme. This Facebook Live is sponsored by Jiffy Loop of Greater Sacramento. We're so grateful to their support. Really, really awesome.
system. If you two are interested in supporting the Sacramento Zoo, feel free to uh, visit our website, saczoo.org. You can learn more about our emergency relief fund, and you can also learn more about reserving your ticket to come visit us. We are loving seeing everybody. It is really, really awesome to see you guys back. If you guys have any questions about artworks, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Look at you go, Miss Padney. Ooh, it's ever a great question. How much does she weigh? Jennifer, how much does she weigh? <laughs> She's right around 100 pounds. <laughs> right around 100 pounds. I love it. She's so cute. So, Tom, what's one of your favorite things about working with Miss Padney? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, she's really friendly. She's pretty neat. She usually goes to the bathroom in the same place, which I like. That's nice. Makes my job easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she likes to eat, which is something I can relate to. Yeah, very relatable, Miss Padme. She likes to eat, and she likes she likes to eat good food. She likes her good avocados. Yes. And it is kind of nice that she likes to go to the bathroom in pretty much the same spot. So definitely makes <laughs> our lives a little easier. Not every animal likes to do that. Andy wants to know how many times a day do we feed her? So generally we feed her about once a day around the lunchtime between 11 and 12, but she'll get other snacks throughout the day. And we might set something up for her overnight too when she kind of wakes up for her second round. Ooh, Savannah age seven wants to know, do they have a tail? Yes, she has a tail. We haven't really done a big picture of you, Danny. I've just kind of seen your face. But yeah, she does have a tail. Got really long nails. That's that's gonna help her dig. These guys can dig about two feet every 15 seconds, which is super impressive. That's a phone. All right, guys. I think Padme's almost done. I think she's thinking about being done with lunch here. Oh, great question. Ashley, are they endangered? So they are not considered endangered, but they are in danger of various things, uh, human encroachment on land, um, climate change. So these guys are ecosystem engineers. They're really important for the landscape that they live in. So even though they're not considered endangered, it is really important to keep these guys and every animal on your mind when it comes to conservation. Ooh, you that tongue. So cool, Pammy. So these guys can be found in Africa. Good question, where are they from? So peaceful. Ooh, Carolyn, great question. So why are their nails long? This is to help them dig. So they like to make a lot of burrows. They'll have their offspring in burrows. They might use the burrows to kind of cool off and sleep in during the day. So it helps them dig really, really quickly. Raven wants to know how old she is. So Padme is turning 11 next month. And these guys can live well into their teens uh, under human care and then the wild a bit less. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning into our Facebook Live. I think Padme is pretty much done with her lunch today. We really appreciate your support. And again, big thank you to Jiffy Lube of Greater Sacramento. <laughs> for um, sponsoring our Facebook Lives and supporting the zoo. Feel free to visit our webpage, saczoo.org. You can learn more about our emergency relief fund. You can also learn more about reserving your ticket to come out to the zoo. We, again, are so happy to see you guys. It's really, really awesome. All right, Miss Padme. Thank you for spending time with us.